Now, hello, folks, and welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. Low taxes and deregulation at the Business Roundtable. And that's the subject of the riff. Former President Donald Trump made his first visit to Capitol Hill today, first one since he left office three and a half years ago. He met with Senate and House Republicans, and then he visited the nation's top CEOs at the Business Roundtable, where yours truly was the moderator and interviewer for the one-hour session. Now, we're going to have much more on the House and Senate meetings. We have our own John Roberts. We have Congressman Wesley Hunt. We have Senator Roger Marshall. On Capitol Hill, the unity vibe was very significant. Meanwhile, the Business Roundtable meeting was private and off the record, but officials were okay with my reporting some general topics, no direct quotes. The meeting was packed, by the way, and the number one issue seemed to be tax cuts. President Trump pledged that he would maintain the 21 percent corporate tax rate, which was such a winner for workers and so crucial for businesses to grow and compete. He told the group that he was going to stay with that, no changes in the 21 percent rate, and in fact, wanted the entire Trump tax cuts of 2017 to be extended and made permanent. And in general, he made it very clear that he is a tax cutter, not a tax raiser, that he's a pro-growth, prosperity and opportunity president, not a redistributionist, and that Joe Biden's perhaps $5 trillion tax hiking policy was anathema to him and would be catastrophic to the economy. Oh, and by the way, got to put this in, Mr. Trump repeated his new policy of tax-free tips for service workers that he unveiled in Las Vegas last weekend. And he told several anecdotes about this, but I'm not allowed to repeat them because it was off the record meeting. Anyway, he mentioned that. Mr. Trump also mentioned big picture themes. Success will bring the country together and success will bring unity. He agreed with the Reagan dictum that strength at home leads to strength abroad. He also repeated his policy to overturn Biden over regulation that includes permitting reform and, of course, drill, baby, drill. And as he always does, he maintained that opening the fossil fuel spigots would be a key part of ending Biden inflation. You could have heard a pin drop through the entire one hour Trump presentation. And I'll just give you my editorial. The powerful group of corporate bigwigs were very happy with a candidate for lower taxes and deregulation. And the success of business, which is the best vehicle to promote a workers' coalition. And they were very pleased to see a person of energy throughout the presentation. Anyway, that was my takeaway. I've been to several BRT meetings with Mr. Trump during his presidency and, frankly, thought this one was the most favorable one yet. That's just my first.